Hey friends, I'm Scott Hanselman. Uh, this video won't have as high a quality in both audio and sound uh, than I'm used to giving you, but I was just too excited about this particular technique to not like drop everything and show you. Uh, so you'll notice that I'm doing a screen share, a screen capture, and I'm inside of OBS. OBS is the Open Broadcasting Studio, free and open source software. And in fact, if you take a look at other uh, of my YouTube videos, you'll see that I did one on how to do a green screen inside of OBS, and I walk you through the process of how to do a green screen, which is cool. And then I also talked about how to do tricky things it's in happening. PowerPoint, so green screen to the next slide in virtual applications. So that's a thing as well. So check those out. However, check this out. This is a great blog post from Rob Farley, and Rob Farley inverted this idea, and he's basically creating a virtual light board. Now a light board is when you're basically writing forwards on a clear glass and then you're seeing it with your face over the top. So you, uh, you, it looks like you're writing backwards but then you invert it and it looks great. Now that's cool but I don't have that kind of money. Um, so he goes and explains the process using green screen. This is really cool. Check this out. So I would encourage you to go and explore. He walks kind of all the way through it, right? He also has a very short video as well on his YouTube, and I'm going to try to go into a little bit more detail, but I would encourage you to go and check out Rob Farley's blog over here. Cool. So I'm going to make myself go away. just want to make sure that you understand how things work. Okay, we're in OBS. There's a default scene. If you've never set up OBS before, we'll set up a video capture device. You can name it whatever you want to name it. I've got a couple of cameras. Camera one, camera two. You can pick this camera. I can pick the front of my surface, which is down here. So I'll be looking kind of at an unflattering angle right here. Oh, that is unflattering. Okay, so I've added myself back. Now I can drag myself around, and I can make myself over here. I can resize myself, do different things with this scene. Okay, this is just a thing I can pick up, and I can move around. But here's the neat part. I can also, if I want to, record a different screen, like I have multiple screens here. So I'm going to add another source, display capture. We're going to pick a screen, and we're just going to pick another screen, a screen you can't see that's down here. So this is the screen down here. So we've got me over here. We've got another screen over here. So I could potentially, you know, pick stuff up and show it to you. And that's how I do a lot of my videos. And again, I'm just picking up rectangles and stuff. Okay, cool. Now I'm just going to put myself over here and I'll put the other screen over there, over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up as an example a Microsoft Whiteboard. Doesn't matter. Could be paintbrush, could be whiteboard, could be PowerPoint. Take a look at Rob Farley's blog. He shows this uh, in detail. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say format background. Now in this example, I picked a lime green. Doesn't matter. I wanted to pick a color that was kind of a wacky color, a chroma key kind of a color. Ideally, this would be a really loud uh, Kermit green, an actual chroma key, but I'm picking a color and I'm going to punch a hole in this right here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pick this screen, other screen. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say filters. I'm going to add a filter. I can have all these different kind of filters. And the filter that I'm going to pick is called chroma key. And then where it says chroma key green, I'm going to pick custom. Now that's the ideal color if I could make the background that color. You see how it's kind of transparent? We're going to select a different color and I could pick a color from down here. I'm going to hit OK. And I've just made that color invisible. And I can go and pick similarity and I could make it like slightly less visible. You see? Just a little bit. I can make those controls show. Okay. Then I'll hit close. So now that's still that screen. But I'm going to make it fill here. And I could even just stretch it just a smidge. We'll do that in a second. I'm going to put me here and then I'm overlaying the whiteboard. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just stretch it out a little bit. Maybe get rid of the part that says Microsoft Whiteboard or change it a little bit. There we go. I just got rid of the toolbar at the bottom. Now here's the cool part. Because I'm on a surface, 
I'm going to take my surface pen, okay, for here. Now I could make this, I could stretch it out even more so you wouldn't see the whole thing if I wanted to. And then I could take my pen on my surface here and I'll pick one of these lovely colors down here and I could press and hold on my rainbow pen and I can draw now. Press and hold, pick a rainbow color. And it's as if we're on a big giant transparent surface and this is really great so this is a kind of the inverse of what i was doing before which i took powerpoint and i punched a hole in it and i had me living inside of the the slides what i think is really cool here and i think rob Frawley's under a very clever idea is that you can punch a hole through anything right you can make yourself live anywhere and i hadn't really thought about it as a great way to do this whiteboard very clever idea. Now again, I want to just make sure that you're clear what's happening here. I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to say filters. I'm going to turn off the chroma key just so you follow what's happening. It's in front of me. I'm just drawing on a whiteboard with a pen. See? Isn't that cool? Just drawing on the whiteboard with doing my surface pen and I draw and then it shows up transparent and I'm behind it and I can decide how I want to make that look. So I could also, as I mentioned before, drag things a little farther out and hide the tools if that was important to me. I could do kind of a Khan Academy vibe. And then anything that I put on the whiteboard can be any color that I want. And then some of them work better and some of them don't. You can see that there is a haze over some of them. I found that the rainbows look cool. And I also think that this, um, this highlight looks nice because it's not kind of aliased. It looks weird on the screen, but the highlighter actually looks the nicest of all of those. So, pretty cool stuff. Check that out. I want to encourage you to look at this blog, Presentation Trickery, the online glass board with free software. Take a look at Rob Farley's blog on the topic, as well as my topics on OBS. I think it's really great. I think that the community is really pushing OBS to the next level. We're learning a lot about how we can make better presentations, better uh, fun with free software. So again, apologies for the graininess of my video. My lighting is still not quite right in this room, but this is a fun video I thought you might get a kick out of. Have a great day.